Hello dears, welcome to grade 9 mathematics. Today I have brought for you linear equation and its solution. So let us define what is a linear equation. A linear equation is an algebraic equation in the form of ax plus b equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and a and b involved here must belongs to the set of real numbers. The condition upon this equation that a is not equal to 0 is because that if a is equal to 0 then we will lose the unknown term x. That's why it is imposed that a must not equal to 0. Now moving toward the solution of this linear equation ax plus b equal to 0. What is the first step? We will transfer this b from left to right by adding its additive and what's to both sides of the equation. So doing this, we have ax plus b minus b equal to 0 plus minus b. In the left hand side, we have b and minus b. They are the additive inverses of each other. So they will cancel each other. And on the right, we have 0 plus minus b. As 0, we know that 0 is the additive identity. So adding 0 with minus b, it gives minus b. So we left with ax plus 0 equal to minus b. Again, in the left, we have additive identity, that is 0. So, by adding ax plus 0, we get ax equal to minus b. Now, we have almost done. Okay, what we left in the left? In the left hand side, we have ax and on the right, we have minus b. Now, we want to find the solution set of the linear equation. So, in the left, we have a time x. So, we want to isolate this x. And for this purpose, we will divide throughout this equation by the coefficient of x, that is by a. So in the left, we have a divided by a. They will cancel each other and we has finally find the root of the equation, that is x is equal to minus b upon a. Now the final step is to put this solution, this solution or this root of the equation in the solution set, which is called the solution set of the linear equation that is we are tabulating this value of x that is minus b by a in the brackets which gives the solution set of the linear equation hope you understand the procedure how to solve the general linear equation okay so next let us try some problems on it this is your exercise number 7.1 in this exercise, we have some problems. So the first problem is 5x plus add equal to 23. So let us try to solve this linear equation. So what will we do? We will just first transfer the constant term that is add from left to right. Doing this, we will add minus add to both sides of the equation. So in the left hand side, we see that 8 and minus 8 will cancel each other as they are the additive inverses of each other. And in the right, we will add 23 with minus 8. So in the left, we have 5x plus 0 equal to 15. Now in the left, we have 0 as the additive identity. So addition of any number with 0 gives that number. That is, we left with 5x in the left and in the right, we have 15. Now we want to isolate this x, so we will divide this whole equation by the coefficient of x, that is by 5. So we get what? Dividing both sides by 5, in the left 5 got cancelled with 5. And in the right, 5 ones are 5 and 5 threes are 15. So we have almost obtained the solution of the given linear equation, that is x is equal to 3. Now tabulating this value in the solution set which gives us what the solution set of the linear equation. Now, if one is interested 
to verify this value of x that is x is equal to 3 whether it's correct or not. So we were taking the left hand side of the given equation that is 5x plus 8 and we'll replace this x by 3. So we have 5x plus 8 and replacing x by 3 we get 5 times 3 plus 8 which is equal to 23 which verify the right hand side. And this is what we have find the correct solution. Now look at the second problem of this exercise, which is 3 upon 5x minus 2 upon 3 equal to 2. So as you see that there are frictions in this problem. That is, there are some values in the denominator. So our first duty is to clear the denominator. Okay, how to clear the, this denominator? So we will multiply this equation throughout by the LCM of the values involved in the given equations. That is, here we have 5 and 3, whose LCM is 5 threes are 15. So we will multiply this equation throughout by 15 to clear the denominator and put the given equation in the standard form of linear equation. So let's do it. We multiply this equation by 15 to get a red of the denominator. So 15 times 3 upon 5 x minus 15 times 2 upon 3 equal to 15 multiplied by 2. Now simplifying 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15, 3 ones are 3 and 3 fives are 15 and in the right we have 5 15 twos are 30. So the simplified form of the equation is 9 times x minus 10 equals to 30. Okay, this is uh, what a linear equation 9x minus 10 equal to 30. So what is our first uh, job? We will transfer the constant minus 10 from left to right. So it will become 9x equal to 10 plus 30. And further simplifying this, it will give 9 times x equal to 40. Now dividing each side by 9 to get the required value of x. That is the root of x is 40 upon 9. Now finally tabulating this value in the brackets which will give you the solution of the given linear equation. Okay, let us verify this value of x. For this purpose, we are taking the left hand side of the given equation. That is 3 upon 5 x minus 2 upon 3. Now we will replace this x by 40 upon 9. That is the obtained value of x. So let's do it. We have 3 upon 5 into 40 upon 9 minus 2 upon 3. Now in this relation we see that 3 and 9 cancel each other. That is 3 ones are 3 and 3 threes are 9. Also 5 and 40 simplifying each other. That is 5 ones are 5 and 5 adds are 40. Now in the numerator we have 1 multiplied by 8 and in the denominator 1 multiplied by 3 which gives 8 by 3. So we have 8 by 3 minus 2 upon 3. After taking the LCM it becomes 8 minus 2 divided by 3. So further simplifying this it gives 6 upon 3. So the final result is 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. So we get 2 which is the right hand side of the given equation which verifies our value. Hope you understand these two problems. Now moving toward the third one. The third problem says that 6x minus 5 equal to 2x plus 9. Now if someone face such problem so don't be scared of because it is not too much hard, because it has no fractional values, no denominators. Whenever you see such type of problems, always follow this rule. Transfer 
like terms of one kind to one side of the equation and like terms of another kind to the second side of the equation. So we transfer 2x from the right to the left toward the 6x and 5 from left to the right hand side toward 9. Now 6x minus 2x gives 4x while on the right 5 plus 9 gives 14. Now we want to find the value of x. So we divide both sides of this equation by 4. So in the left 4 got cancelled with 4 and in the right we have 2 2's are 4 and 2 7's are 14. Thus the final value of x is 7 upon 2 and its solution set is given by Now in order to verify the solution of the given equation. So we see that there are x in both left hand side as well as in the right hand side. So we solve left hand side and right hand side separately. As the left hand side is 6x minus 5 and the right hand side is 2x plus 9. So we replace x by 7 by 2 in the left hand side and simplifying it. So we get 3 multiplied by 7 minus 5 which gives 21 minus 5 and the answer is 16. Similarly, we are replacing the value of x by 7 upon 2. So Simplifying this, it gives 7 plus 9, so whose answer is also equal to 16. So we see that left hand side and right hand side both gives the same value, that is 16. Hence, it's verified our solution. And thus, we have obtained the correct value of the variable. For the rest of the problems of this exercise 7.1, you have to turn on the next video, that is the second part of this video, so you can enjoy the rest of the problems of this exercise. So till then, bye bye and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.